Getting a high page speed score on your mobile or your desktop is important for some. I like to do that. But isn't it annoying when you look at the recommendations and you scroll down and over here it says ensure text remains visible during web font load. And you sort of kind of go, uh, yeah, why is it even giving me that message? Why is it telling me about these fonts? Because when I go over to my website, I've already custom loaded them. They're already in there. In fact, I've regenerated my CSS and I've even ensured that within my Autoptimize plugin or Asset Cleanup or anywhere else, I am preloading them. So why the heck am I still getting this warning? I don't know, but there is a solution to help yourself out with it. Now, what you're gonna need to do is add in a code snippet. Now, if you're not familiar with code snippets, you've gotta get this on your website if you're planning to do anything where you're messing around with the theme or the style of your website. I don't like to do child themes. I like to stay protected and code snippets, it is a free plugin. Go and get it and the amount of stuff you can do with your website, you'll thank me later. Anyway, what you do is once you've got the code snippets installed, you hit add new, you add a title, and then you drop in the bit of code. Now I've already done it over here and a copy of the code will be in the description for you to go and click and go and get a copy of it. This is called ensure fonts loaded. Let's just click that. So that's the title I've given. And here is the code. I've done nothing more to it other than that. You take that code and you paste it in exactly as it is, okay? You do not change it. What you then do is hit save changes and hit activate. Now, if you've put in the code incorrectly, you might get a warning message pop up and you roll back, but you shouldn't get a warning message. It is very simple. So make sure you've done that to the code. The second thing you want to do is go back to where you've got your custom fonts. It's already preloaded, but what you need to do is go and click edit. You must hit edit and hit update. Because what you're actually doing is you're regenerating it behind the scenes, okay? Even though it's edited, even though you've already added it, you've already uploaded it and updated it, you gotta hit it again. Make sure you do that. Then go over to Elementor, go to Tools down here and hit Regenerate Files and Data. Now, technically that is it. Because now if you go over to PageSpeed Insights and you refresh, that web font issue will disappear. Once that is done, when you go back to your page speed insights and go to past audits, when you scroll down, eventually you'll see the one we were referring to today, which was all text remains visible during web font loads. That is now done. And all I did was add in this bit of code here. I went back to my custom fonts and I ensured that I hit edit and then hit update. You don't have to add them in again. They're already added. You just got to hit the update button. And that problem has now gone. So that's how you do it, okay? The code will be in the description. Go and try it out. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.